What's up video Fort nation? This is video for Ruan with another awesome video for tutorial. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at um, helpers in 3ds Max and um, you can use helpers to rotate objects to move objects. So let me show you how you can do that. So let's just maximize the screen and let's just create a few objects. Let's create a box. Uh, let's maybe create a box there. Something here something here and let's maybe create a sphere as well first of all what i want to do i want to center this object here to the center of this grid and an easy way to do that is click on this make sure you're on move and then here at the bottom your x y and z make sure they're all set to zero so just type in zero 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 and that will center that pivot point to the center of your grid so now we're going to create a helper object so if you click on the helpers button here um, it looks like a little measuring tape icon and then we're going to create a point helper so click on point and then just click anywhere in your scene and that will create a point helper usually it will be on cross so it will look something like that and in the properties or the parameters uh, dialog box you can change this to box and untick cross that will just change your helper into a box so what you can do you can link objects to this helper so let's just select some objects and to add more objects to your selection just hold in control on your keyboard and drag to select uh, more objects and then right here in the corner there's a select and link you'll see it's like a little chain icon so i'm going to click on that and then you can click on any of these selected objects and drag towards your helper then release and that's going to link all these objects to that helper. So now if I go to my move tool and I click on the helper and I move that around, you'll see that all my objects will follow along. If we press E on the keyboard and rotate the helper, you'll see that all my objects will rotate around that. And the same with scale. If I scale my helper, it will scale all my objects together. Okay, let's undo that quickly. Um, let's just go back to where we moved everything. So what I want to do next is I want to unlink all these objects from this helper. So I'm going to select them all again. So just drag over them, hold in control and select your other objects as well. And then next to your select and link, there's a broken chain. Then you just click on that and it will unlink all those objects from your helper. So if we select the helper again, we move it around, it won't affect any of the objects. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to align an object to another object. So let's say for instance we want to align this helper to this box right in the center of the grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my helper and then here at the top you'll see these two little bars that says align. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on the object that I want to align this one to. So I'm going to click on the center box and it's going to open up the align selection dialog box. So here you can choose what axes you want to align to that object. So I'm going to click X position, Y and Z. And um, then I'm going to say center of that object. You can also select the pivot point that will actually align the pivot points because this box here in the middle, the pivot points actually at the base, but I want to align it to the center of that object. So just click center, center, then click on OK and your helper will be aligned to that box. Let's just scale the helper a little bit. As you can see, it's a bit small, so it's inside of that object. There we go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to link all my objects again. So I'm going to click on the center box. I'm going to hold in control and just select my other objects around it as well. And then I'm going to click on select and link. And then I'm going to drag them to the helper. And now if I rotate the helper, everything will rotate around it. So this is a really cool way to um, actually create your own pivot point for multiple objects. So say you've got different objects and you want those objects to spin around a specific pivot point, create a helper, link all those objects to that helper, and then the helper will be your pivot point. Right, so that's how to use helpers in 3ds Max and also how to align objects to each other. Also remember to check out video4.com, your number one source for stock footage. I'll see you guys in the next video.